master barber Akeem Akwe is a standout in his field. Cut out the competition. You already know, best barber on the podium. Actually, the Midwest really if you want to talk real shit. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a draw fade on my guy Deontay. This is my first tutorial video, so please, any comments, feedbacks is welcome. I'm going to start off by creating that first guideline with my Babeless liners. Since we're doing a draw fade, you don't want to take that ball line too high. You want to make sure you get every hair possible with your clippers because once you use your shaver, you want it to be easy on the shaver to make it smooth. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. You want to make sure you get every hair possible so it's easier on your shaver for the next step. Now I'm going to use my Babeless shaver to get it as close as possible to the skin so you can have that smooth transition. As you can see, I'm stretching the skin a little bit to get every hair follicle. Also, I'm not taking the shaver all the way up to the line because you want to make it easier on yourself to get rid of the line later. With my Ergo's clippers, with the lever open all the way up, you want to create that second guideline. Next, have the lever open halfway. You want to start fading to get rid of the first guideline. Work your way down. You don't want to fade too high up because you will create another guideline and it'll be way harder to get rid of that one. So just go halfway up. I'm gonna take my two guard with the lever closed. I'm gonna continue to fade on the side all the way up. I'm not gonna touch the top just yet because we wanna keep it wavelength on top. Now with my one and a half guard with the lever open halfway, I'm gonna do the same technique I just did with my two guard and work my way down. As I'm working my way down, I'm gonna close the lever all the way and keep fading. As I'm fading, I'm using my 907 comb to comb through to make sure the hair is laying in the right direction. Now with my one guard halfway open, I'm gonna do the same exact technique I was just doing with the one and a half. Keep fading down as you're working to get rid of that second guideline. Now you notice as the hair is getting shorter, I switched over to using my brush instead of the comb. The brush makes it easier to lay all the hair down. Also notice I'm using the corner of the clipper to get in more detail, so it helps the fade come out even cleaner. I'm doing this with the lever closed. Next, I'm gonna take my half guard with the lever halfway open, using the corner as I fade my way down. The shorter the hair, the less teeth you want to use. Also, it's better to use this technique because you're working in a small area. You 
you also want to use your brush heavily to get all the loose hair. Stretch the skin and use the corners of your clippers. Deontay wanted to keep it wavelength on top. So first you want to comb through the hair to see which part is lighter, just to analyze the hair overall. I say this because the lighter the hair is, the less pressure you want to put on it. As you can see, the corners are a little bit lighter, so I'm going to use less pressure. With the hair brush down, I'm gonna use the holding spray on the liner so it keeps the hair in place. I know most barbers use spritz, but sometimes spritz can clog your liners. So you wanna use something thinner like 91% alcohol. It's just better for the skin, it dries the skin and it's easier on the liner. Depending on the lining, I usually start in the middle because the goal is to have a straight line. Especially if it's a first time client and you don't know their head that well safer to start in the middle. Whenever I'm lining up the front, I make sure to always check the mirror because the mirror will show you if it's straight or not. I always tell barbers, <laughs> the mirror is your best friend. It ain't gonna lie to you. Now I'm gonna use my enhancement spray to enhance the lining a little bit. You don't want to get trigger happy and over spray. You always want it to make it look as natural as possible. hair fiber to give it the natural look instead of the shiny look from the spray. After that, I spray it down with the holding spray. Go over the lining again after the spray to give it that crispy look.
using the white pencil here because my client is lighter. This gives it the ultimate look. It makes it pop even more. After the pencil, you want to go over the lining again to get rid of the pencil. And then finish it off with the razor line. I'm going in real lightly with the liners on this beard because it's better for those with sensitive skin. Plus, I know I'm going to get it real sharp with my razor. to use my clippers to do the detail work with no guard the lever open using the corners only you want to make sure you stretch the skin as you're doing this technique to get every hair and there you have it y'all this is how you do a drop fade shout out to my guy Deontay for being my first model as I told you guys earlier, this is my first YouTube tutorial, and I would love some feedback. Also, what cut should I do next? Let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And while you're at it, go follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Everything is the same, Akeem Akwe. See y'all next time.